Welcome to Learn by Watch. This is your course Bootstrap 5 from scratch and I am your guide Alicia for the course. In this course we will see several components of Bootstrap, how we can get started with Bootstrap and in the end we will also be creating two web pages, one with carousel and the other one would be an image gallery. So let's see how we can do that. So let's get started with the first session which contains how you can get started with Bootstrap. So this is how Bootstrap's official website looks like. How did I get here? This is the URL getbootstrap.com or what you can do is you can go to Google and search for Bootstrap. When you press enter, the very first link will be getbootstrap.com. Just click on that and you will be on this page. Now in this video, we will see how we get started with Bootstrap. So this is the get started button. So you have to click on this. Then this page opens up where there is telling how you what all links you have to add in your web page. So this is a CSS link which will help you add all the style sheets that are there in Bootstrap into your page. So add this link. They are saying that you have to add it in your, into your head. Then there are some more links just like JavaScript link is there, bundle is there. These are all there to make few functionalities which are there in Bootstrap over. Then these are also two more JavaScript related popper and all links. Then they have also provided us with an entire starter temp template which we can add to our website and then we do not need to add these links separately, all of these CSS, JS links. So what we are going to do, we are going to go the easy way. So we are just going to copy this starter template. For that just click on copy and it's done. Now let's go to our page. So as you can see, I've already created bootstrap.html. What I'll do, I'll paste the code here. And as you can see, now we have an HTML tag, head tag. Inside the head tag, we have two meta tags. Then we have a link to bootstrap CSS. Then below that, we have link to option one is we can add just popper. And option two is we can add popper and bootstrap just separately like this. So it's like your option, your call if you want to add bootstrap and uh, popper together or separately. So let's go with what they have done and just remove these comments and see. You can choose one of the two. It's option as they are saying. So now if we save and go to our web page. For that, we'll have to go to our folder where you have stored it. So go to your folder where you have stored it and then open your HTML file. And you can see just hello world and simple because we haven't added any bootstrap classes or uh, classes into our page. So that's why you just see this. So what we are going to do is we are going to first remove all of this H1 that we have here and save it. So we have basically added this and there are like many classes and components that are there. So this is the basic uh, video where you see how you can include bootstrap into your file. Then in the next coming videos we will see what all components that are there all of these and how we can add them and then change their CSS according to our web page. We will see all of that and in the end we will also be creating a web page with the help of bootstrap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope now you are clear how you can get started with bootstrap. Link bootstrap with your HTML file. If you have any doubts, please put them down below in the comment section and I will help you. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next session.